What's up, what's up, everybody? Uh, so, welcome back. Um, per usual, we're going to do our, well, this is typically a Sunday video. We're going to talk about the stock market's expected move. As you probably will figure it out, it's, it's Monday. The stock market is closed. Uh, so, we got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. As long as your calendar matches mine, you should have that many trading sessions. So, first week of the year, we're going to go over the expected moves. We did get Tesla delivery numbers. I, I know I go over, so we go over the, um, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell. Uh, and then we recently just added in a Tesla's expected move. Uh, in there, and we did get a Tesla delivery numbers, and they did miss. So, uh, you know, <coughs> let's get the expected moves, and then we'll we'll touch on that. Um, let's grab. Them. So we saw Friday, we did just run it into the bell, right into the zone. <laughs> Ignored this. This is a uh, six twenty five EMA. Six twenty. It's the only that counts. Six twenty five. If you're not trading that, you know, I, really, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing with your life. Let's get to the uh, the daily. So what are we thinking? Right now, that is a bear pennant, like a bear flag or reversal, drop, base. Only two outcomes, guys. The drop, base, drop, or a drop, base, rally. Did you get the short entry you wanted, or are we turning the ship around? We are going to talk about that on Don Fron's show, by the way. Uh, so this is Don Fron Trading pre-recorded. I will go live one hour after Futures Open. It's about an hour from now as I'm recording this. Uh, we'll talk about this. And I'm going to get my outlook on the, uh, on the market this year, kind of what I'm expecting, what's what we have the recipe for, uh, whether it pans out or not, uh, and just hopefully how things shake out. So, let's rock and roll, let's get the expected moves. So we got Tesla, we got Tesla right now? Okay, Tesla, we're expecting 1329. We got IWM, 447, that's pretty average. We've had 447 quite a bit. All right, QQQ 772 and SPY. We'll do this in reverse so I can remember them faster. 851. All right, so let's get into SPY. We'll go to the daily. All last week stayed right inside. Now remember, this is where market makers price in their risk. Uh, remember, market makers, they are to make a market they're not out to get you they're not the boogeyman some of these gurus keep talking about you know like they're they're just not there to do that market makers aren't even really stepping in until we get outside these lines uh that's when algos have to start hedging they'll, they'll kick those on and, and that's where i say they either got to rein it back in you know see how we stay inside here or we, we go to funky town uh and that's where you have so there's you retail plus the institutions which is market movers but then there's market makers you got that extra third person on the uh on the field Things could get uh, a little rowdy. Uh, so, again, they're not out to get you. When you buy a put, you are negative deltas, making them positive deltas. They will short 50 shares if you bought at the money. They'll short 50 shares. They will be neutral delta. Zero. They have zero say in the game. When it goes up or down, they're covered. You're the one taking on the risk. They will not. Uh, again, they're just the dealers. They're just there to make sure you can click the buy and sell and somebody fills. All right, so like last week, they didn't want to do it. They didn't want to go to work. Came back here like, hey, wait, it's the end of the year, Santa Claus. Uh, let's rein it back in because I don't want to come to my desk and do any work. We don't want to turn on any algos. 772. We'll call that close enough. All right. And personally, <laughs> the conversation I'll be having on, on Don Fron's show is, I think uh, I think this first quarter is gonna be rough. We're either finding the bottom or thirty percent is coming off. There's no in between. There's no up. It's either we're kind of like rounding out the bottom right now, or we are coming in hot. So it's definitely something I'm excited to go over. Uh, nothing to be afraid of, but man, something I would want to uh, at least see coming. All right. 46, it's close enough. It was 447. We're not going to argue over pennies. Or quite literally a penny. So here's your expected moves. For the first four trading sessions of the week, banks are back. Everyone's here. Everyone's out to make money. Remember, guys, I know you, you really think highly of yourself. You guys post a lot of selfies. You can't wait to take another picture and remind the internet what you look like. But in reality, no one cares about you. I know, super positive. No one knows you exist. No one in the stock market on the other end cares, knows you exist. They don't know your tweets. They don't know what you're saying. They don't know what you're thinking. They literally do not 
care. Everyone's out to make their own money. That's it. Market movers, they can buy up order books. They can they have a few other tricks they can play. It's not they're not out to get you. They're just out to make their own money. Uh, understanding those mechanics, understanding what they're looking for can probably really help you out. So 2022 sucked for you. You probably didn't have a plan. You probably didn't understand some things. There's a, there's probably some things you could button up. Uh, that's where I would say hit the subscribe button. We're going to explain a lot of things here and so how things work. So you like 2020 2022. Yeah, 2022 was a green year for me. Like why wasn't it for you? Um, I can tell you why. You were probably long some stocks. You had some cool sayings. You shared a Warren Buffett meme. And, uh, well, the stocks just kept going down. I'm just super surprised. <gasps> Talk about fundamentals, too. Man, fundamentals, where it's at? You know, fundamentally, this was Tesla's strongest year ever. Yeah. Also, uh, fun fact, the two worst performing stocks in the S&P were Tesla and Meta. So that's... That's fun. Tell me more about your fundamentals and how that's what you should buy off of. Just kidding if, if that really offended you. Hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, I just thought it was funny. If you go off technical analysis, you were short. If you go off fundamental analysis, you were bullish. Uh, only one of those is up right now. Tesla getting smoked. Uh, and remember, guys, what well, we're going to dive into Tesla right now. Tesla's down 40% in this month. Tesla's down 70% on the year. Tesla's not actually down. Like The only people that are down are the people that bought it at the top. And most everybody I know, like in my group, everybody, we bought Tesla a long time ago. And you're not down. But again, if you bought from, from uh, I guess, September of 2020, you, you're, you're probably down if you bought after that. I'm certainly down because I bought back here and I was averaging up. So it did bring my average up to just shy of 200 bucks. Uh, that's, you know, who knows how much I've... I started tracking the options contracts that I'm selling to, to see. I always consider those just extra trades. I take that premium that I collect and I just buy more shares. But the real Tesla investors that bought in back here, if you bought in my group, it was 10 bucks. You know, split adjusted. Uh, it was 150 when a lot of us got in. Uh, and right now you are still, so is that peak down there? Right now you're up only up just shy of 800%. Now you did watch it go up some crazy amount and then right back down and you're only up 800%. But let's just think about that for a second. You were only up eight extra money in a market that historically gives you 10% a year. You're killing it. Um, so anyway, all in perspective, you want to fear monger, you want to clickbait, Talking about Tesla, there's there's a couple ways to go about it. You got solving the money problem who thinks Elon's a scam, it's all a scam, this thing sucks, going to zero. You got there's your bear side. Uh, and then you got Stephen Mark Ryan that thinks, I don't know, Tesla and Elon and Jesus hang out. Uh, he thinks it's going to be a $30 trillion market cap company. Uh, you know, the, the guy's publicly admitted to doing uh, psychedelics, and I guess that's probably what you'd have to do to think that. Uh, but then, you know, you got the bulls that are on that end of the spectrum. He's <laughs> Be careful when you're making your analysis, by the way. Because he's got, like, his base case, his bull case, and his hyper bull case. What even is that? Like, let's let's keep it in the spectrum, guys. Try your hardest what you really think it's going to do. That's your... Here's where I really wanted to track that. Hey, if some, some high flyers come in, some unexpected, that's your bull case. All right? And then, like, hey, some crap hit the fan, uh, and things got a little weird... That's your bear case, some things you didn't see coming. Your deviations are some things people just didn't see coming. Everything else should be factored in. Now, I can tell you what your hyper bull case and your hyper bear case is. Your hyper bear case, delisted. Zero. It's gone. Looks like Alibaba. Peloton. Um, hyper bull case. Sky's the limit. It goes to zero. That's the floor. But have you noticed, like, it just keeps going higher and higher and higher no matter what you do, no matter who you are. Like, you'd be Kathy Wood all over again. It's going 25,000. I uh, remember all that. Um, anyway, th there's no sense in wasting the breath, the brain power, or anything talking about a hyper bull case at all. You're just going to, what, hopefully feel better at night? Yeah, just daydream. It's going to go to 30000 a share. People on AMC really thought it was going to go to 100000 and that's fine. If you quite literally want to live in the, uh, in the matrix, you know, and, and just ignore all facts of reality... You can certainly pick that path. All right, so Tesla got a miss. 
Uh, the Bulls, they're going to say this was a record quarter for Tesla, as it was. Fundamentally speaking, it was the best quarter. Uh, they did do 405,000. We were expecting 417. Like, even after all the adjustments, 417, 417. And uh, <laughs> I already know the Bulls are already on Twitter even saying, Tesla barely missed. Like, let me tell you something. Tesla barely missed one year when it barely missed 100,000. It was literally like, Tesla has missed expectations by less than 1,000. And the stock market threw a fit. And that was in a bull market. So what do you think it's going to do when the trend is down? Like, people are buying puts, people are shorting the stock, and it's going smooth. It is a well-oiled machine to the downside. You've heard the trend is your friend? Sure. Um, so on top of that, you get another negative catalyst. That didn't. That wasn't just... A barely missed by a few hundred. When I say, if I ever say it barely missed, I'm talking we could we could make a rounding error and hit that. Like that's a barely miss. Like you know, you, you still missed by five digits or more. You know, you're in the thousands. It's a miss, just a flat out miss. No, no matter how no matter how you dice it. Um, so bears are gonna say, told you so. Of of course, <laughs> bulls are gonna say it's a it's a record setting year. So uh, that being said, what we have is a is a negative catalyst on top of a downtrend. You know, what do you think is going to happen? It, it, I don't need a crystal ball to tell you it's probably going to be red. Uh, I would be very surprised if it's green tomorrow. Um, that'd be the first time we've had a negative catalyst and Tesla go green. Uh, real catalyst. We've had catalysts like, oh, Tesla crashed during self-driving. You know, and a couple weeks later you find it's an Audi. You know, like it's always something stupid. Someone's always trying to write, do some crap with Elon. Um, and, and that's where you really need to ask yourself, are you a Tesla investor or a trader? Because if you're an investor, what does the day-to-day -day even matter to you? you? Unless you're looking to buy more. Uh, then I would just, if you're looking to buy more as an investor, trail this thing down, right? Go to the daily. Uh, I'd give it, a, give it a couple days up and then just set an alert. And that's it. And then every red day Tesla has, you just scoot that thing right on down. At least then you know it takes a couple solid green days to even trigger that alert. Now that's possibly, so I always say all the time, bear flag or reversal. You can't make a bear flag without a green candle. But at least that time you're kind of creating that scenario. Like, hey, hey, there's some resistance here. There's some buyers. At least that way you're not the only buyer. You're not going to be on Twitter saying, oh, I bought the dip, but it kept dipping. Like, you don't have to look like a fool. And if you like it at 120, you're going to love it at 60. So why not? Remember, fundamentals, right? Whatever your reasons for buying, this is all just technical noise, right? What do technical traders know? Uh, anyway, as an investor, let the waterfall happen. Just let the bears take control. Period. Well, the bears, already they're already in control. Let them do their thing, and then you can buy the bottom. Uh, you'll see it start to fizzle out. So like, even, even though this isn't the best example, but look right here. Waterfall mode, sideways action. Hey, at least we can build a case. And maybe that's where you start to dollar cost average. As an investor, you don't want to just plop it all in and call it a day. I'm sure some do, but I like to dollar cost average. For instance, I'm in Tesla shares. Uh, and uh, aside from selling options, well, I do sell options. Sell weekly options against it every week. And uh, here it is right now, as a matter of fact. So right now I'm in the 120s that they were 760 bucks. They're probably going to evaporate, which is good for me because it means I get to keep the whole 760 bucks. I'm keeping all this capital. And then I'm going to buy more shares. But I'm not going to buy it while it's in waterfall mode. I'm going to wait for the bottom. The bottom's going to look very similar to this. And one of two things is going to happen. I'm going to add on that's going to be the bottom. Or it's going to continue on. And I got a decent chunk. But, you know, now I have more soft contracts against. Whatever. I'm going to keep doing my thing. Keep doing. I'll wait for the next level. When that happens, out again. But my average will keep weighted down. I'm not the guy that's going to just buy 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 more buy more buy more buy more buy more buy more first of all like that's amazing unlimited that's like youtubers doing that they got that youtube money i have to trade to make money so um i don't really have enough to buy tesla just every day then there's the whole common sense of allocation uh and all that um so as far as my two cents on tesla goes i actually be surprised if we even stay inside this standard deviation um, maybe I'll jinx it. Maybe I'll draw the second standard deviation down. It's thirteen twenty nine, and maybe we'll pop off to the upside. I wouldn't mind either way. Uh, I am in puts in my trading account, but as far as my investment account, it's in it's in Tesla. Um, I'm willing to bet if I had a, if we're throwing darts right now, we're going to one ten, 
Well, we are going to 96, 97. We're going two standard deviations. If we get outside this expected move and there's any kind of hedging, it ends up being that, that feed loop because it's going to gap down. You YOLO traders are going to buy puts. So the market makers, they're going to short shares as well. Uh, and it's going to be just that feedback loop that sends it. Remember, the market makers won't really kick in until we get right to here. Um, if we stay inside this move right here, let's say we only gap down a little bit. Uh, then at that point... Um, there probably will be some IV crush. This will be considered almost like an earnings play. Uh, like for instance, the one twenties that I'm in right now, uh, right now I feel like the options chain, they're $800. They're $3 in the money, which means they're actually only worth $3. They're $3 real value, $5 time value, which means that $5 is going to disappear, uh, throughout the week. Um, so that being said, they are juiced up. If you want a short test of puts, you do have to pay to play. Um, so that can leave a lot of bears hanging. Um, I don't know if this is probably the opportune time to be shorting or jumping in short. Uh, but for you Tesla bears out there, send it, right? It's going to what, 20? You said it yourself. Put your money where your mouth is. Buy some $20 puts. <laughs> Buy some $100 puts. Give it some time. Send it. If you're so confident Elon's a scam... Why don't you quit talking about it? Why don't you put your money where your mouth is? Load up on some at the money. Some, why don't you go with synthetic position? Grab some two hundred dollars strike puts. Give it to June. I mean, how long is it take you? Th how long do you think it take Tesla to get that low? That's something I would like to see some of the Tesla bears do. Like, if you're going to keep talking about it, why don't you show us how confident you are and put some money on the line? Such a scam, and it's going. Send it. Buy some puts. Short some shares. Do it. Report back. Make that YouTube video about how you shorted that stock. Because uh, the bulls are talking about how they bought it. And they're getting smoked right now. So why don't you tell everybody how awesome you are with, with how you short it. Uh, anyway, I'll wrap it up here. Uh, Tesla did miss. Expected moves 13 bucks. I, I know. It's, I don't think up is an option. I think we're either hanging out to the low side or we're going to standard deviation. So remember, below the, uh, what's that, put that, below the 110 mark, things are getting spicy. If there is going to be a knife catch to buy, maybe that 105, 104 mark, I do like the rain it back in play. So I actually don't care inside this. If there's going to be a rain it back in play, it's about the halfway mark to the, the second standard deviation. We reach, we run, and we gun, and it's just red into the bell. I'll try to catch that knife for an oversold bounce. Um, so anyway, I'll wrap it up here, guys. Hope I see you guys on Don Front Show. Uh, if you are interested in my uh, mentorship group, that is the Patreon link uh, down below, and you will see the the Tesla options contracts that I am selling. Plus, also, I go live every day for the market opens. Uh, and if you don't know what options are, that's the teachable link. Why don't you get a course, figure it out, before you jump in here and get yourself in trouble. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Hopefully, 2023 is going to be green for you. Let me know in the comments down below. Is 2023 going to be like a little green for you? Or like, what are you doing in 2023? I'll see you guys.